I forgot how weird this is to just be like talking in your room alone to a camera, you know? Also, is it recording? <laughs> hey guys, I haven't seen you in a while. I remember like the last time I was sitting in this exact spot with the camera in front of my face making a video and talking alone in my room was a Q&A. I had blonde hair. It was a long time ago. But anyway, I wanted to make this video because I snuck my camera into the Lord concert. It was such an experience doing so. I basically, I just want to tell the story of how it happened. The next clip you're going to watch is actually the morning, like literally minutes after I bought the ticket and I'm eating breakfast and I'm telling you the story. So I'm going to roll that clip and then I'll be back. Good morning guys, it is March 23rd, it's Friday, and I'm going to the Lord concert tonight. Every once in a while, I have this gut feeling that I just need to be somewhere. A week or so ago, I started emailing the openers, started emailing the venue, started emailing whoever and whatever email I could find, and I got no reply. So like every day for seven days, I would email them again. No email at all whatsoever. No no response, which is fine. That happens like 90% of the time, truly. This morning I woke up and I was just like, I'm just gonna check StubHub. A center floor seat, row five for like $95. And I'm sitting there like, there's no way. There's no way, this is a glitch, there's no way. I called StubHub, I'm like, hey, my name is Muriel. I'm looking at the XL Energy Center in St. Paul. I just want to make sure that this seat is the seat. And they're like, yep, that's the closest one to the main stage, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. And I'm kind of like going back and forth in my head. I'm like, okay, $95. Like, it's about like 111 after tax. That's a lot of money to spend, like, just out of the blue. My heart started to beat. I'm like getting excited thinking of me actually doing this. That's when you know you should do something. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, $100, like, I'm going to make that back in my lifetime. Like, this is going to be an experience. And so, I bought the ticket. And tonight, I'm going to take the dreamy shots of Lord that I've always dreamed of. And I'm taking you guys with me. So basically, after that video happened, I went downstairs and I got ready for the day. I was actually hanging out with some friends and then going straight to the XL Center, which is where Lord was performing. So... I had to pack my bag, this is the bag that the camera was in, and while I was packing my bag, I like was sh shaking. I was so nervous and actually I was only going to bring my film camera, like sneak in my film camera, but my good friend Allie, shout out Allie, me and her were both trying to get a photo pass but we both didn't get emails and I texted her about it and she was like, alright, this is how you sneak your camera into the Excel center. And I'm like, what my like big camera but anyway shout out Allie she taught me everything I know shout out Goodwill and I'm filming on my mark 3 but this is my mark 2 they're the same size this is the camera that I snuck in so I wanted to put my 50 millimeter on I usually use my 35 millimeter but 50 would get a closer shot this is where it was if you can get a visual um basically Allie was telling me wrap your camera in a black t-shirt Put it at the bottom of your purse and just dump a bunch of shit on top. Like, literally things I have in here consist of, like, glasses, headbands. I put in, like, so many scrunchies. I put in scrunchies. I put in, like, film. I had my other film camera. I had a brush, lipsticks. Um, just, like, just shit. Because, like, nobody's gonna want to go through a messy-ass purse. You know what I mean? At the top of everything like all of your shit is just thrown in there at the top of it all I put three tampons delicately right on top so when that male security guard opens up my purse and sees some tampons he's not gonna want to go through that or touch it or anything but yeah I'm currently walking to the XL Center I have my purse ready you want to show the people what we have what do we have okay. So they're gonna be like, oh my god, you need to open your bag. I'm like, okay, no problem. 
and all they're gonna see is tampons. Yep. I was so nervous, like, wa like walking towards the arena and everything. Like, I was literally shaking. I was just so nervous because I just knew this was so important, and I really, really, really wanted it to happen. And like, I think I blacked out while like going through security because I was so nervous. My instincts, like. Normally I feel like I would freeze up in that moment, but I literally felt like I just blacked out and I just like went for the open lane and it was like another male security guard, but I just like, I just did it. Like I did not even think about it. I was like, okay, let's just get this over with. Here's my purse. I'm going to walk through the security line. And I was in. I was free. I literally was, it's it like, I was just like this when I walked through. We're in. We're in. I'm sitting there alone in my seat just like smiling to myself because I am so happy and ready to take the best photos of my life. We made it to our seat. I met my new friend Samantha. She came along too. So now we're bonding and why did you come? I came because I wanted to see Lord. Duh. And she said none of her friends wanted to come. I said you need some new friends. Right. Oh my god it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Ah! But this, it's happening. Updates to come. Lord came on. I was like, I can see your eyelashes. This is amazing. It's a lot of pain Woo! and a lot of jealousy this and a is lot going of awesome. You know, pittiness and a lot of craziness Woo! and a lot of joy and a lot of freedom. Yeah! I'm conjuring the spirits. It's like I'm bringing that time back. Right, right, right. right. And I'm gonna give it everything that I have tonight, but St. Paul, I need everything you have. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Like everyone around me was just super amazing, just dancing their hearts out. We order different drinks at the same bar. sure during a few songs I just put everything away and I just like accepted the moment because it was so amazing every time I brought out my camera because like the sec there's security guards in the photo pit just kind of like eyeing the crowd and every time I like took pictures I just kind of like I like low angles too so I just kind of knelt down and I would like shoot through people's heads a little bit and there was a point where I definitely just got comfortable and I was like, you know what, <laughs> here I am. Just such an experience and I just want to make it clear that like me making this video isn't to tell you to buy like a hundred dollar tickets just to sneak your camera in or like that you have to be this courageous person and you know, go to concerts alone. And I really just wanted to make this video just in hopes that like if somebody tells you no or doesn't reply Especially in the business world, I just hope you don't take that personal and know that it's not you and to just keep working hard and to keep making noise so you can be heard and like, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who don't reply and say no, especially if you're a photographer trying to get photo passes or send inquiries to brands and magazines. I mean, and that's just life and that's just the thing where you can't let that you can't let that ruin you. You have to just keep reaching out. You have to keep making amazing work every day, posting every day. Just keep paying attention to the people who are already loving your work and, you know, don't get caught up on the people who aren't listening. I just think at the end of the day it's so cool that <laughs> I can do things like this and tell the story and give you guys that experience and Whatever you take from it, I hope you use it and you run with it and you don't stop and keep making noise. I bet you who the take.
Ashes, the rider in the dark. Goodbye.